CB, what prompted you to work with Action Aid and what's your background with this project? Okay. Uh, I am doing this work for my tribute to the survivors. Absolutely, because all my work is to show the positive image of anything. So, of course, living in Bangladesh for the last 20 years, any cause like this, which is very close to my heart, I give that support. What do you hope this project will achieve and what sort of message do you want to convey to audiences? I think that in every work I do, there's one thing is very important for me, to respect the human dignity. Mm. And whatever it is, you have to look, you have to open your eyes. There are these girls, I mean, uh, or the boys, all these eight survivors who is going to be performing tomorrow. I mean, you should see their confidence. You know, they, this program will change their life. They will get, they, they will understand that there are people who respect them, give them chance to leave. You cannot take it away. We are living in 21st century. Mm. I can't believe we could be so inhuman to do this. What have you learned whilst you've been doing this project, when you've been working with these survivors? What have you learned from them? All my work is to give uh, sustainable development, better livelihood, give them, make them feel they are part of this world. So there are so much to learn from them. You just have to look at them, look at their eyes, look at how they are performing. You know, I could do a show uh, in London with any models in the world, but I'm so, feel so honored that they are doing my show. Does the attack still affect you in your day-to-day -day life? Uh, yes, I uh, sometimes remain it because when I walk in the road that people uh, look at me, the time I uh, get back to that uh, incident mm -hmm. and Really, at the time I, I was a little bit sad and remember the past. In the weeks and months following the attack, what aspect did you struggle with the most? It was very painful. Physically, I was very sick and uh, that was um, uh, like uh, always uh, paining my face. Mm. Or uh, there is a uh, um, lot of... Uh, uh, infection and my hand and my face so uh, I um, that was a painful time for me how easy was it to tell people your story now it is it's easy for me mm. to tell my story because uh, uh, I cope with this life I cope with all the thing. What would your message be to other acid attack survivors? What would you say to them? Uh, I say to them, this is not, uh, this is not, your life is not finished. You will have future. So you will be fight for that. And it is not your fault. It's the fault of society, fault who did it. So, why you are feeling shy? It is not your shame. It is shame of society. Mm. It is shame of our uh, culture and also uh, the blame. I like to give the blame in our state. You know that because our law is not active mm. and this kind of incident happened and happened. So, lack of judgment. So the incident are happening in Bangladesh still. That's a part of life. So your uh, somebody, uh, your face is damaged or your hand is damaged, your own eye is damaged. But it's not uh, all the things are damaged. What are your feelings towards the the boy who did this to you, and has that sort of changed over time? Of course, I hate him, and. Uh, um now we they realize that uh, he is part of the society and he learned from society um, that 
he can attack women he can attack girl it's not big crime or big so it is not only her fault her uh, his fault Farah how did the idea come together for the survivors runway well you know actually Bangladesh has been working with the survivors for many years and uh, it started off with trying to bring the issue uh, to the to the society and uh, we were looking at the treatment aspect then came advocacy campaign for laws to ban acid sale and to recognize that acid throwing is a serious crime but over the years uh, it was happening and it somehow fell off the agenda to some extent and a couple of years ago about 2015-16 I was thinking how do we bring it back to the agenda so one way of the, the idea came to me that why not have uh, something different because we do human chain and we do campaigns but something different uh, that would give the asset survivors an opportunity to feel dignified to feel respect but also draw the attention of the, com the policy makers and the likes of me and you so I was thinking of the fashion show I spoke to actually the Bangladesh team they said yes it's a good idea. In regards with working with the acid attack survivors well, how has it been working with them and have you learned anything from them? Oh my god I cannot describe to you how much I have learned from them. I've learned to value life because the first time I met an acid survivor a friend of mine and took me to the hospital and, and uh, she had been they, they had thrown acid uh, on, all over her face, her head, and there was only like a small patch of skin left. And she, was, I was so angry. I'd never seen such horrible uh, crime. You know, it's visible. It's it's horrible. I cannot describe to you. So I was very angry. From that point onwards, I felt that you know this has to stop. So uh, we have been working with them, and uh, we have learned and to see the inner self. And one of the reasons why we organized the fashion show was to redefine beauty. It's not just the face, it's the person, it's the character, it's the personality, the courage. Imagine if you are going about in society where everybody looks at you as your disfigurement, as you know, something wrong, mm -hmm. but it was not her fault or the child's fault or even the man that is now being attacked with acid. So they have the courage to face, to get up the next morning, to face the world and do all the things. So I really respect them.